SBR Forums Inside the Lines is brought to you by Ladbrokes. Peter Loshak, we're talking right now with returning guest Jeff Grant, sports betting writer for the Bleacher Report. We're going to talk about the Saturday NFL game, Atlanta and Detroit. Jeff, thanks for being with us once again. Great to be with you, Peter. This is a very difficult game to handicap. Yeah, and I think the reason is because it's just motivation here. I mean, of course, Detroit's off an ugly loss. Atlanta's off a great win. Uh, but, you know, Detroit, they've lost six in a row. Their, their season is, is reeling. Atlanta, though, they need one more win to clinch the top seed in the NFC. You've got to think that just uh, Atlanta minus three, on the even though they're on the road, is a great bet. But that's exactly the kind of thing that people might have thought about the, uh, about the Detroit game last week, playing an awful team. And, and, you know, they hadn't won in a while. And everyone who backed Detroit last week got burned. <sighs> I got to say, right now, as we sit here right now, before I've heard what you have to say about this game, I would take Atlanta minus three. That's where everybody's going right now. There's real battle in the SBR odds page while we're taping this right now between the three, three and a half. There's some books that are offering still three at a high juice price, and there's some books that have already moved to three and a half because I, they figure with the amount of action that they're going to receive later on, they might as well push it to three and a half after opening at three. Right. Atlanta, that was the game of the year for them in the regular season uh, since the Saints hit the skids and then have to worry about them in the division. They haven't really had to worry about anything for the entire season. Uh, they've had the division wrapped up. There's nobody coming after them. Uh, they're basically looking for home field advantage. So I think they put everything they had into gaining revenge due to last year's playoff loss to the Giants. I believe they lost that game 24-2, held the two points. Uh, the Giants just played bad. Uh, they didn't convert on third downs. Uh, they lost the turnover battle. Uh, the Falcons continue to win the turnover differential. They're plus nine on the year. That's a key factor to consider in this game, Peter, because the Lions are minus nine on the other uh, side of the spectrum. And, and Matthew Stafford had a really bad game against uh, the Arizona Cardinals. But they're still playing. I still yeah. think the Detroit Lions are playing. They're just one year now removed from last year's playoffs. Obviously, it didn't go their way. But let's remember, if you look back to last year, Peter, the Falcons won a 23-16 game at this field, Ford Field, in Detroit. But they're four-and-a-half-point road underdogs in that game. And also, Peter, if we remember last week's game, we covered very similar situation in terms of the line and one team battling for a playoff spot or a better spot in the playoffs against a downtrodden team that was expected more from, and that was the Bengals versus Eagles same line, and the public's going to remember that burial. So I think we're getting even more value on the Lions here in this spot. Yeah, I mean, I guess the only issue is, are the Lions going to, like, you know, how are they going to respond to that awful uh, loss last week? Are they going to come back here and really, you know, play for pride? Or are they going to just say, screw it for this season and just, you know, mail it in the last two games, or at least mail it in this game? That's the main issue. It definitely is. And I think Detroit, even though that it's a bad season, I think, Head coach Jim Schwartz has tried to do the right things this year. Uh, he's tried to clean up the locker room. It hasn't quite worked, but it's more about mistakes that are happening on the field. And you have leadership on the F offensive side of the ball with Stafford. He basically said, I was reading some comments from other players in the locker room after last, uh, last night's loss against the Arizona Cardinals, and he put it upon himself on that loss. And the offense is going to be a little – they're going to have some motivation here, Peter, because – Calvin Johnson is going after Jerry Rice's single-season receiving record, and after Stafford coming off a of poor performance, zero touchdowns, three interceptions, completed less than 50% of his passes, if he can get back his second leading receiver, that's Brandon Pettigrew, the tight end, that's a key, key injury to watch for before you put your money down on the Lions. I'm going to be watching for it personally. Second leading receiver, Brandon Pettigrew, did not play against the, the Cardinals but when you look at the stats and inside the lines as you go, Peter, mm -hmm. 312 to 196, the Lions outgained the Arizona Cardinals on the road on Sunday. So I think you're getting value here. Most of the scores were interception returns by Arizona last week or set up nicely by turnovers, bad field position. So I think you're getting great value here, especially after the Falcons, off the best performance of their, their season. I think you're getting added value. Play the Detroit Lions as a home underdog. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, Jeff. Thanks. Great preview once again.